All right, here we go. Sorry, I got to play a little Mr. Dad today, but um, welcome everybody. We are here. He doesn't need any cherries. So it's a new year. Um, Table Titans. I figured one last Table Titans before the end of the year. Um, and I think I'm going to turn over a new leaf. Look at that. 102. I said I'd go live at 1 o'clock. And I'm actually live at 1 o'clock. I think it's because my kids are here. Anyways, um, I'm going to share it out. And if somebody can throw in the comments just so I know that they can hear, um, that'd be good as always. Let's see. I'm going to check my phone. Last Table Titans of the year. All right, cool. So that's posted. Um, what's up, Jarrett? All right, cool. So everybody's there. So you know, basically, uh, 2021, man. It's uh, New Year's Eve uh, day. We're uh, pretty much at the end of the year, and I figured, what better way to celebrate uh, 2021 than doing a quick Table Titans edition? We got a bunch of new videos that we're going to release for the year-end awards. Um, I'll take anybody's questions, um, announcements. A lot of people have been having some questions about the next show. February 5th is still on, so I'll just get that out the way right out the gate. Um, but yeah, so today we got, we're going to make it a quick show, half an hour tops. I'll probably do a couple minutes, um, a couple minutes in, um, for Q&A announcements, kind of some house cleaning. Um, and then I'm going to roll into all 12 of the nominee videos. Uh, for 2021 for the year-end awards figured what's better way to celebrate the last day of 2021 than to look back at our some of our best moments with our 2021 awards and this is also just a reminder on Monday's additional table Titans the first one of 2022 we will announce all the winners from the year end so um, 30 minutes my ass hey listen man today's a new day I said I'd start at 1 and it was 101 when I got going so uh, I'm turning over a new leaf uh, Rob Pico, what's up, buddy? Yes, um, February is definitely too far away. We miss you guys, the Penafials down there. We'll, we'll have you back February 5th. So I guess since we had Mrs. Uh, Coach of the Year on, the, on, the, um, on, we might as well make an announcement that we have talked about uh, the party in Lionel Ball, uh, Boo Young. We are talking about that fight, uh, but it is official. It will be for the Cage Titans Bantamweight Interim Title. Um, you know, Jay Perrin uh, is our champion. He is under contract to defend his belt for CES. Um, and once he does, he intends on coming back to Cage Titans to defend. Uh, but who knows? I mean, he might go on after CES winning the title if he defends it. Uh, so there's a lot of question marks. So, you know, the party and Lionel had amazing 20, uh, 21s. And instead of having them sit on the sidelines and wait for a date, we don't know what could happen. But for a showdown with uh, Jay Perrin, we figured throw an interim title up for grabs. Let the two best uh, bantamweights that are fighting right now in Cage Titans go at it. And then the winner will have a nice shiny belt around their waist for 2022. And then an inevitable date with uh, Jay Perrin, the current champion. So there we go. Uh, that's a little bit of news for you today. We did make that official this week. Uh, the fight, as you know, they've already been doing the rounds and, and, and doing the back talk. Um, so everybody knew Lionel and the party where it was the fight that was going to happen. Um, but we made the decision that uh, we're going to make it for the interim title. Um, you know, the party going 3-0 and on the year. He's called for the title shot every one of his fights. Um, he's been waiting for so long for that. Um, so it, it felt deserving that he's earned that right and to keep him on the sidelines waiting much longer wasn't fair. And as for Lionel, I mean, 2-0, and up for breakthrough fighter, pro fighter of the year. This guy's been around forever. Uh, amazing uh, 2021 within the Cage Titans organization. So um, I'm excited to have these guys go at it and have a little extra motivation with that, that Cage Titans title going around their waist. So uh, that's what's going on for February 5th. Um, for those who are also talking about February 5th, why it's on, uh, on my tip of my tongue, uh, February 5th, right now, um, everything is go. People are like, oh, it's going to get canceled. I will also tell you this. I am not in government. I am not in politics. I have no clue beyond what I can tell you is that, A, Plymouth has not stopped any fights. They don't have any vaccine mandates or anything like that. That was only in the city of Boston. So when I saw that news come out last week, 
A lot of people are up in arms. Hey, what's that mean for the show? The city of Boston has a vaccine mandate that has nothing to do with the surrounding towns. Um, could other towns adopt it? Possibly. Um, if you look at New York City, I'm pretty sure they did it in New York City, but none of the surrounding towns. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's just going to stay in Boston. Uh, so it's not in Plymouth. Um, with that being said, as you know, in November, there was a mass mandate in Plymouth. So as of right now, there is a mass mandate in Plymouth still. Um, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, we, we talked about this before. Uh, you know, this is the world we live in today, and uh, we, we roll with the punches, and we, 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 we take what's thrown at us. So um, February 5th is ready to roll. Um, it is full force. Some people like, Mike, you haven't been promoting much about it. You know, what's going on? Uh, basically, everybody's been bogged down with Christmas and the year-end awards and things of that nature. nature excuse me. Um, so for us, it just didn't make sense to, like, really start hammering home talking about February 5th because though we'll be a month away uh, from tomorrow, you know, talk about it six, seven weeks when everybody has the hustle and bustle of Christmas. It just didn't make a, a sense to do a huge push of promoting certain matchups and things of that nature. But with today, we end 2021. Monday we'll come back and we will announce the award winners and that's putting it to rest and it's full force promotion on uh, Cage Titans February 5th. Uh, New York City allowing USA to come in April. Fighters from out of New York City don't need a vaccine but fighters from New York City do. Yeah, I don't, we could go on comments for days. Um, we don't even need to touch up on that, you know. I'm sure you guys in your own little circles have your... Uh, debates, vax, non-vax, mass, no mass, is it conspiracy? I, I'm sure you guys all, I follow you all on social media, so I see all your, uh, your points, but we won't bog it down in the comments today. Today is about ending an amazing year. I said it when we returned in July. I honestly did not know if Cage Titans would ever be back. Um, it, you know, that's just the truth. Um, I'm, I, I never thought we would get back to live events uh, like we did, um, but we came back, we came back strong. We had four great events in the span of four months or five months. Um, sold out every one. The crowds were great. Uh, we did a lot of great things in 2021, and, and, and I'm so happy that um, we were able to return. And, and I can't really wait till what happens in 2022. There's a lot of great storylines, a lot of new fighter characters developing within the organization. There's a lot of you know bright spots that we had in 2021, and it's so exciting to see what they're going to bring in 2022. Um, you know, it's it's always fun for me with Cage Titans is to see the progression. Um, you know, you watch a guy who makes his debut, and then you see a guy fighting for an amateur title, and then you're like, well, one day that guy could be that guy. And then you see a guy that won the amateur title, and on the same kind of guy's making his pro debut, and you're like, oh, I wonder what he, if that's what gonna, he's going to be doing next year. And, you know, the, a guy like The Party emerged, Lionel Young emerged, Billy Goth emerged this year as huge superstars within our organization. Now, who's going to be the next party next year? Who is going to? I don't think there's, there's only one and only party, but, you know, who are going to be those next guys? Hold on, i got to do dad duty. What do you want, your dad will go? There you go, buddy. So, you know, who's going to be that next star that emerged? Uh, Shane Doherty, you know, uh, Nate Russell, um, you know, man, Mo Kiani, all our amateur title fighters are going to be looking to go pro next year. So, like, that's going to be amazing to see what they do in the pro ranks. We saw Jeff Joy this year go pro, see what he was able to do with his pro career, Cam Arnold. So um, it, it's just crazy. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I look forward to a lot of 2022. Let's cover your belly. Um, my wife doesn't know I'm doing a live right now. I see you in the comments. Brianna Dunn, you better not tell her. We're going to have a bad time tonight when we go out. Um, <laughs> Westy Martinez said hello. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, Atham Apofu versus Andrew Valdina. They're in the comments. We talked a bunch about all the matchups, and we have so many fights. We have a full fight card right now. <laughs> I don't want to say that I'm thinking about doing a second one, but F it. It's the year end. I'll give you all the insight. We're looking at maybe doing another one. Uh, we had so many fighters that want to be a part of this event on February 5th. I'm not doing back-to-back -back shows. I will tell you that much. <laughs> I will not do back-to-back -back shows in the same day again. Uh, but we'll probably look to possibly add a second show somewhere down the line. Um, maybe the week after February, two weeks, or somewhere around there. Because there's a lot of fighters, and you know me. I hate turning fighters away. If they want to fight and they want to compete under the Cage Shags banner, um, I want to make room for them. Um, you know, So we'll see what we can do. So those guys who keep reaching out saying, hey, you got a match. Um, 
I was worried Weston was going to take a dig. I wouldn't have told her I saw that. <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. All right, cool. I'll, first drink's on me tonight. Um, speaking of which, if anybody's out in Boston tonight, um, uh, we'll be at Mystique. So if you want to come by and say hello, I will be there. Brianna, don't tell my wife I said that either because she'll probably tell me I want to be a Cage Titans free. But if you're out and about in Boston, come on by and see me. Say hello. Um, buy a drink, and we'll celebrate the New Year together. Um, what else I got? I got my kids raise a scooter in the restaurant. Um, my wife's getting her nails done right now, so that's why I'm able to be here doing this uh, without her knowing. Uh, but anywho, what else we got? What else we got? Um, February 5th is a go. If anybody else has any questions that they want to throw in the comments, I wish, I mean, imagine partying with the party and it, Mrs. Party, that would be a good time. Um, we'll have to do that this year. Uh, I turn 43 at midnight. I'll have a drink for you. Absolutely. Daddy duty. You know how it is, the party. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. So February 5th, we went over. Anybody have any questions, feel free to share them. If you don't, uh, without further ado, I want to get into the awards. I'm just going to play all 12 videos back to back to back. This is a cool way to look back at 2021. Uh, throw it on while you're getting ready, while you're hanging out, having lunch. Watch the next 12 videos. These are all the nominees. These are all the nominee finalists. And it also has their performances. It includes the video of their performances as well. So have fun. Before I sign off, make sure there's no other questions. You got any other questions, Weston? No? Pretty good? Pretty good? All right. You want to put a smiley face on that? Yep. All right. There you go. Smiley face. Ha ha. I don't know what smiley face. Ha ha. You didn't. Anyways, uh, we are Cage Titans. Thank you for an amazing 2021. Um, here's to an amazing 2022. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. If any of these videos you want to end up watching um, afterwards, they are all up on our YouTube channel. And I'm going to pull them up now. So, uh, boom. What that? Oh, that's just me. We don't want to see that. So, you go right to our YouTube channel. Right here. Year-end nominees. Here, play all. Let's play all. Before I play it, hold on, pause. Make sure I got it in that screen. All right. Hey. Without further ado, here are all the nominees for all of our awards, all 12 categories. Enjoy, guys. Thank you, and have an amazing uh, night tonight. Be safe out there, and uh, enjoy.
Oh, she's oh, looking for a triangle. Looking for an armbar. Looking for an armbar. Valentin's in trouble. Oh, she rolled it. She might have it. Valentin staying calm. Oh, that looks tight. Staying calm. She's going to break it. They're going to stop. Wow. And just that like quick. that. And what just happened? like that.
Dion, a superb grappler in his own right. Triangle armbar attempt here. Really good shot there. He rotates into the cage. For Dion Rubio, who is? Oh, no, he let go of that arm. Let's go. Goes back to the elbows that we're working for. Well, that's what's working for him right now. It actually is benefiting Leo that Dion is searching for that submission. I agree. I agree. I agree. I think that... Christos lost that first round, especially with the point being deducted. The crowd has been all top of Dello. And came back strong. Round. Christos. All in guard. Going straight to his back here. Danny. Drop it, heavy leather. Christoph's gotta work for that leg, baby. Christoph's has gotta do something. He can't ball up like this. Oh, he's gonna give up his back. Good position here for Danny. Great top pressure. Oh, Christoph is a big combo. They stop it. That's it. MMA trunks. The champion in the white and black tie trunks. Front kick. Xavier. Right Xavier's angry. Oh, what a hit. What a combo from the next man Cardona. He told him. Oh, but he leaves himself open. Shane nails him with a nice punch. And Xavier just looks like he doesn't feel pain. He hit him with another check. Xavier coming with maximum aggression. Both of those guys are landing vicious strikes. Shane is going for that choke. And that's no arm in. Shots on the chin in the stand-up. Shane's got all his strength right now. I can't emphasize enough. It's possible, but so tough to finish these when you're against the cage. But on the other hand, perhaps I stand corrected because it was long since finished. He's unconscious. Shane Doty chokes Xavier Cardona out cold. And Xavier came in, he tried. Bringing it to the floor of this cage. And we know that these are Oh, that's like the early. From Erica Valentin. Oh, uh, she's looking for a triangle. Looking for an armbar. Looking for an armbar. Valentin's in trouble. Oh, she rolled it. We might have it. Valentin's staying Oh, calm. that looks tight. Stay calm. She's gonna break it. They gotta stop. Wow. And just that like quick. that. And it just happens. like that.
looked like he was getting a walk away knockout, but Pat Gilbride has shown his toughness many He's times before. Boots looking Line for the early finish. Nice elbows, that looks like it might be it. He took some elbows there. Those were devastating, that's it. Lionel Boots, young. Jumps back into the win column with a TKO finish over Patrick Gilbride. Finish him with those elbows. Stick that jab I can't tell who's cut. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, Richie's hurt. Richie's hurt. Richie's hurt. Richie's hurt. Looking for that pound and pound. Big up the cut from the party. He's going for these big shots. I think they're both cut. Richie's staying Richie's active. Richie's fighting. Still in it. What? He's oh, in danger. Oh, he's tough to put away. Yeah. Oh, hits oh. it with a big knee. And that's it. And that's it. Show Ricky rolls. He scores the knockout victory in round number one. Four, six punches at a time. Oh. Here he goes again. Oh, JoJo hits it with a big knee. Big knee for the face. Elbows. That's it. That's it. It's all over.
います。While he was up against the fence. Oh, Lally's hurt. He's got to move. He's got to get off this well, cage. He's got to get off that cage. Maybe slow it down. Maybe push up. This is actually the best Billy's, for Lally here. Billy's got to keep the pressure face. on. Oh. Straight round. Straight so far. From the Sean, look at the look at Sean's face. Oh, big knee. There's a big knee. Good knee for I Sean mean, Lally. Sean Lally is not going down. And never expected. Look at him. You know, that man never goes out unless he's dead. Great duck. Oh, nice, nice, nice duck. Nice deep shot from Billy. Oh, that's a nice, nice one. Jab, nice jab. Billy is doing such a great job on landing strikes in the disengage. Oh, oh there's yeah, a nice head kick. Oh, oh, great oh, job. Oh, nice job
Summers hurt. Oh, he's got to move. He's, he's got to move. He's got to get up. He's moving. He's back up. That hurt him to the body. Oh, back to the oh, body. He's it. down. It's that's over. it. He doesn't feel pain. He hit him with another shot. Xavier coming with maximum aggression. Both of those guys are landing vicious strikes. He's going for that jump. And that's no arm in. And that's tight. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. All right, let's see if it's working. We're working, I don't need desktop. I need this, all right, we're alive. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, that's a wrap for 2021 for me, uh, for the Cage Titans family, all of us. Uh, thank you for an amazing 2021. Hope you watched, enjoyed watching those videos. If you missed any of them or you want to re-watch them, you want to go out and share them for all your friends, um, go right to our YouTube channel, you can grab those. Um, but thank you once again. Uh, thank you to Brian Garrison who put all those videos together. Thank you to Nick Heiler who put all the video, uh, the, the graphic cards that we've been sharing on our social media. Uh, Andy who helped me put together all the category nominees and all the fans that have been voting. So I truly appreciate it. Make sure you just go in our comments and throw your vo comments, uh, your votes in. Share it out. Um, but yeah, thank you, man. It's been a great 2021. And um, hope you enjoyed the videos and we'll see you in 2022.